Hello everybody, this is Jeff from Ballworks Entertainment. And today we're going to go over cutting tools in GIMP 2.8. First of all, we want to start with adding a alpha channel by going to layer down to transparency over to add alpha channel. But once you added the alpha channel, we can go ahead and get started in using our cutting tools. The first one we're going to use is the crop tool. I use this tool mainly to cut out huge parts of the picture. Like today, as an example, I'm just going to cut out this lady and cut off the excess edges I don't want to use in my work. So we'll go up here at the top left. As I said, just go ahead and highlight this little exacto knife. This is your crop tool. And figure out where you want to cut. Hold your left mouse down. Drag all the way over to about where you want to. And you can adjust it, as you see, on the right side. And say we're going to use that much of the lady. So then release your left mouse button and then hit enter. Once I use the crop tool to cut out the large part of this picture that I want to keep the excess cut, I want to go in, say I want to cut out these eyes. I blocked her eyes to somewhat conceal her identity, but say I want to cut out and add new eyes. I'll come up here to the free select tool. It looks like a little lasso. Go ahead and free select and left click all the way over to the right here. Left click all the way down to there, left click, all the way back, left click, and come up to where the little circle is highlighted yellow, then left click. And once it outlines in little dotted lines like that, come up to the select button and hit select, and come down to invert over here on the top left, and select invert. Once you selected invert, just hit delete, and it takes out the eyes. Now, if you forgot to hit the invert button, you just hit Control Z or Control Z and come back up here and hit select and invert again, then hit delete. Whoops, see, I didn't mean to cut the whole lady out. So I'll just hit Control Z or Z again and bring it up. Come back up here to select and hit invert and hit delete again. And it took out her eyes. Okay, so. Say I want to cut this rose off and I want to add a different picture or a flower to that that's in her hair, or I just want to get rid of that rose completely. Just come over to the scissor select tool, left click on it. And I usually use the scissor select because it tries to outline your picture the best way. It doesn't do it perfectly, but for the sake of argument, let's go ahead and start out by left click again. As you can see, it's trying to outline. You take your time doing it. I'm just kind of rushing here and showing you how to do this. Just continue to outline the parts you want to cut out and come over to and finish off by where you started at. And as you can see over on the right of your arrow, it connects. See how it is? There's a little icon there and it changes whenever you highlight it. That shows you that you're going to connect that picture. So go ahead and left click and, and it fill, filled the outline out. And again, all you have to do is hit delete. Again, uh, and then after you do that, left click in the middle of the picture where you want to cut out and then hit delete. And you just cut that rose out and it cut it out better than the uh, free select tool would have. It depends on what you want to use the tools. As you can see, the free select tool, I think is better for straight cuts, more precise than the crop tool and I use a scissor tool to cut out something like that rose. Now if I wanted to cut out the rest of the picture I could come up here again to select and invert then hit delete and it cut out everything but the rose and I kept the rose. But if I want to just cut out a rose out again I come up to hit select invert and again hit delete and there there you go. I hope I helped you out on learning something about the Cutout tools in GIMP. I've only been using the GIMP a little while, but uh, it's easy to catch on once you put a little time and effort in it. And it does help you out on your projects. Uh, again, this is Jeff from Ballworks Entertainment signing off.